Hi everyone, and today I have a new discussion video for you lot, and this is basically about shameless self-promotion and why I believe this is a bad thing, and why it is affecting the book community right now. Actually, quite a while ago, I know I saw a few people do discussions on this and mention this, I know Charlie Reads mentioned it in one of her videos, and then I think it was Harry from the Read Terms did a video as well talking about it so they were both great and I will link them below. Basically right now I can really relate to this and I do want to address some of my subscribers. Maybe some people just don't realise they're doing this and honestly it really doesn't help them. I want to help my subscribers out if they want to start out booktubing and I don't want to get them starting out on the wrong path. So what this is, is it's basically when you sort of start out and you go to other booktubers or YouTubers in general, it's not just booktubers but it does happen in the book community as well and you basically go over to them and say please watch my video, you start linking to the videos, you send them loads of messages and basically you just want the fame from them and you're just not really, in my opinion, showing your passion for reading. You would get somewhere if you didn't do that because people will naturally find your channel. A lot of people send me messages saying please check out my channel, please go subscribe right now, please go and watch this video, tell me what you think as soon as possible and they send loads and loads. Honestly, I don't mind once or twice. I don't think that's too bad, you know, just getting to know you and stuff, general sort of nice conversation, but I think it gets quite tedious after a while when they just send you a message or a comment for every single video they upload. Obviously, they just don't have a huge passion for reading, and if they did, it would be coming across, they wouldn't need to do this, wouldn't need to ask for subscribers because they would already have some. Booktubing is not about the fame, it's about talking to people about books, sort of interacting with your subscribers, not about getting thousands and thousands of subscribers because believe me, at first it will not happen. You can't expect everything when you start out, you just have to go gradually. And honestly, to say this in the most honest way, the people that do this actually put me off watching their channels and I don't actually seem to enjoy their videos because for me, there's just no passion there and you just don't seem to have an interest in books because I just find it very tedious and maybe it's the messages that sort of instantly get me thinking I don't like this person but honestly they really can annoy me. Obviously let people know you have a book channel but you don't need to go shouting out to every single booktuber saying please watch this video, please watch that. It can come across if I'm honest as begging and scrounging for subscribers, scrounging for views which is not what it's about actually. You can sort of say to them I've done this review and I really thought this was really good or I didn't like this aspect of a book. You know, general talk about the book, but don't get them always really, don't beg the people for subscribers. If they see your comment, they may, I do this all the time, go check out their channel, the commenters channel, and then if they have book videos, I'll watch them. If I enjoyed them, I will then subscribe. I don't generally like subscribing to people that beg for subscribers because for me, it might instantly say to me this person is greedy for subscribers and views or they just don't have a huge passion for books or along the lines of, you know, this person is annoying, you know, why do they get the subscribers and other people don't, you know, booktubing, like I keep saying, is not about the fame, you will, you know, get subscribers over time. Everyone starts out being awkward and everyone's videos, I think, when they start out are generally not too good. Everyone does improve, but you, know, you need to embrace that, you need to embrace that improvement and then you will get subscribers. At the end of the day, if you make good videos, you're going to get subscribers and support, people will enjoy them, but you just need to put the effort in and the time yourself and then people will subscribe. So that is actually everything I have to say today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment below with your opinion. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Anything you have to say, just go ahead and say it. Basically, just don't expect everything from the start and over time you'll get subscribers and support and happy booktubing.